Hi, this is Manos Brilakis and Peter Taiti from the Minneapolis Heart Institute presenting case 81 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case illustrating how CTO techniques, in this particular case the retrograde approach, can be used to facilitate non-CTO interventions. The patient presented with angina and was found to have a proximal circumflex lesion. He had previous coronary bypass graft and a few days earlier he was found to have an atretic lima and a paint, patent vein graft to the ramus branch. He had severe disease in the left main which was successfully stented with the left main stent protruding into the LAD. The vein graft to the ramus was patent but still the culprit lesion appeared to be the proximal circumflex. We did have significant difficulty advancing a wire through the left main guide into the proximal circumflex and as a result we decided to use the so-called reversed guide wire technique in which a polymer jacketed wire, in this particular case it was a filter FC, is bent about 3 cm from the tip and inserted into the TUI with the loop facing forward. So the loop is advanced into the vessel, in this particular case the LED, and as we're coming back, the band unwinds, allowing wire entry into the angulated branch, the circumflex in this particular case. So we're able to subsequently advance the wire, who is now into the circumflex. However, the next step was to advance a microcatheter and change it for a soft guide wire. However, the microcatheter would not advance past the distal left main. And the most likely explanation is that the wire had entered through the struts of the recently placed left main stand. We did multiple attempts, but we were unable to wire. And that is why we had a different idea, which is why not try to wire retrograde from the vein graft to the ramus? And that's exactly what we did. We removed the left main guide, engaged the ramus graft, and then we were able to advance a polymer jacketed wire, again a filter FC, very easily retrograde through the vein graft into the proximal LAD, and then after looping the tip into the circumflex. And then this particular case we were able to easily advance a microcatheter, a micro 14 microcatheter into the proximal circumflex we did not have this interaction with the stent, so the balloon easily crossed into the circumflex. And then we were able to deliver a stent again without any difficulty through the first band in the anastomosis of the graft and then through the second band between the proximal circumflex into the target lesion. The stent was successfully deployed with an excellent final result. This case shows that CTO techniques can be used in non-CTO PCI. The reason why the balloons and stents and microcatheters could not cross through the wire advanced to the left main was that most likely it was going behind the stent strut. There was also the issue of severe angulation that was solved initially using the reversed guide wire technique, a very useful technique for acutely angulated vessels. However, having the strut issue prevented equipment delivery. However, using a fairly easy retrograde crossing through the patent vein graft to the ramus allowed very easy advancement of balloons and stents and successfully treating the lesion. Thank you.